guys welcome back to my youtube channel if today is your first time meeting me my name is bella and i am your favorite online fashion tutor so kindly do us a favor by subscribing liking the videos and sharing with your friends all your fashion lovers okay so i want to use this opportunity to thank my returning subscribers too you guys are wonderful so before we dive into the tutorial for today i have a big announcement to make yes who is excited i'm excited so guys i've opened a new telegram group for us all to join for free this telegram group is called the designers forum so in this group you have different um individuals different designers different fashion designers from all over the world and we can come to share in talent we can come to share our knowledge on some things okay if you have any issue uh, in your fashion business or whatever question you feel like asking or it's just a group of collective designers Okay, we come together to you know rub minds together So if you're interested in that kind of a group you can join through the link in the description box below Okay, it's will be an avenue for um you to drop any tutorial you want me to teach on this YouTube channel So you can drop it there. You can ask questions related to fashion you can ask for help if you have a style that is too complicated for you or you're not so sure how to go about it you can ask me questions or you can just ask questions and anybody that has the answer can answer okay the group will consist of both beginners intermediates advanced professionals teachers so feel free to click in the description box the link in the description box below to join the group okay i will see you all in the telegram group so guys to start with here i have my ankara african print fabric and my cotton lining okay this lining i love it so much it's called spider in the market in the nigerian market is used for school uniform okay so it's in form of clothes too but i like using it as lining so this is spider okay you get it where they sell school uniform so let's get started so guys to start with um i folded my fabric on fold so the length of the ankara won't permit me to use the normal um the the normal 45 inches length for this dress because this dress is about 59 inches so i have to turn it the other way around okay and you can see it has messed up where well, my motif the the design on the fabric but i don't want it to have joining so i had to do with what i have okay so um i'm starting with my shoulder measurement let me mark out a starting point line so this line is my starting point line and I'm going to insert my um, shoulder measurement which is 16 divided by 2 give me 8 inches plus um, half inch that is 8.5 okay so um, her uh, arm old length measurement is 9.5 okay if you don't know how to get this check my previous video on um formulas in fashion you can check the description box for the link so i'm just reading out the 9.5 to enable me mark out a straight line so um, i'm going to mark down my um shoulder measurement which is 8.5 i'm going to mark it down to have a straight line for my arm home and I'll connect I'll mark my shoulder to waist 17 inches and I'll mark my shoulder to hip 25 inches okay. the next thing to mark is my new measurement from shoulder to 37 inches I'm going to be using 37 inches for my new measurement. So I'll mark it out. 
from shoulder to 37 inches okay haven't gotten all my um, uh, lengths the lengths I need I'm going to be inserting my circumference measurement so my boss now as you can see the dress is a, a, a free dress so what I did is that if the bust is 40 let's assume the bust is 40 I, I added two inches extra to the bust measurements making it 42 before dividing by four let me take that again so to make this a free dress instead of using my the normal bust measurement I added two inches extra to the bust measurement that is 40 plus 2 give me 42 before dividing by 4 if your bust measurement is 42 add two inches to it making it 44 before dividing by 4 then you add your normal sewing allowance okay so I did that for my bust for my waist and for my hip that will give me enough ease for what I want so having done that my bust is 42 plus 2 will give me 44. That is divided by 2 will give me, divided by 4 will give me 11. So here is 11 plus 2 inches sewing allowance. So for, for the waist, I have the 8 inches. I'm going to be using 40 inches. 40 divided by 2, 40 divided by 4 will give me 10. I'll mark down my 10 plus my 2 inch sewing allowance okay so for the hip i have 44 plus 2 will give me 46 46 divided by 4 will give me 11.5 so plus my 2 inches sewing allowance so for this hem part if you would see in the video you see that from the um new area down is like a pencil it's like a pencil um pencil gown okay it's not bogus it's fitted down from the um from above the new down okay so i have to take the new measurement as as if i'm taking a pencil skirt measurement so what i have here is 13 and a half so i will deduct two inches that will give me 11 and a half if you don't know how to get all this please refer back to my previous video on how to get um, on formulas in fashion okay so i'll mark that straight down i know we can't see this place my camera can't cover it all but i'm just marking my 11 inches straight down to the hem okay So I'm connecting with a straight ruler for the um for the hem part from the nail to the hem part. Connecting with a straight ruler. Okay. Now for this part, connect my bust to my waist, my waist to the hip. From the hip to the knee, then you blend. You blend, blend, blend. I'm blending with my curved ruler, okay? So you blend the hip part. We don't want any uh, necessary sharp points, okay? So this is um, a straight. How would I put it? This is a normal fitted dress. Now, to make that swag, should I call it swag or should I call it drape or cow? I don't know what to call it, but you see it on your screen, that um, place around the hip. So, I'm, I'm going to be coming out from my hip, from my hip here, I'm coming out three inches. Okay? So, I'm going to blend we're trying to get an oblong shape here okay we're trying to get an oblong shape so first of all I, I think I should take the three inches from the waist to my um 
from the waist to the new measurements. I just place my straight ruler on the three inches and take it straight down. This will help us to get the oblong shape we need. So using my um, curved ruler, using this curved ruler, I'm trying to blend it out. You can see it was um, a bit fitted from the waist, then it started shaping out. So I'm trying to shape it out. I just want it not too shapey. This looks shapey. I don't want it that to look this shapey. Okay, I'm trying to. Please don't mind the rough, rough sketch. I'm just trying to blend, blend, blend. I don't know if we saw what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm just trying to blend out that to have that swag, but I don't want it to be all round. I just want it to be to be like as if it's straight here, then blend back to the waist and blend down to um, the nail point. I hope we get what I'm saying. So at this um, hip area. I want it to be a little bit straight, like not really straight straight, but it should be like straight. <laughs> then blending it up into the um into the waistline and coming down, you blend down to um you blend it down to the new line. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So I think I'm satisfied with what I have here. Okay. I think I'm satisfied with what I have here. Please just know in fashion, if you're not the original uh, uh, designer or if, if the style wasn't originally from you all we are trying to do is to recreate or photocopy so it can't be 100 percent accurate okay so coming over to the ammo area um i'm going to remove half inch for my ammo and whatever i have here i have nine left so half of it is 4.5 and i'll go in by half inch okay so from this half inch i went in i'll connect the straight ruler up here and from this half inch down to my ammo i'm going to connect with my curved ruler So our ammo is done. So I'm going to connect the, the the neckline width I'm going to be using. I'm using four inches for the width front and back, and I'll be using one inch for the back because the the style this person wants her zip to be in the front. Okay, she wants her zip to be in the front, so the back will be on fold. So, four inches for the width for the two of them. 
front and back and one inch for the back so while I'm cutting the front the front will carry nine inches okay the front is a V is a V neck nine inches So this is for the front and this is for the back but i'm just cutting out the back now because this is on fold for the back the front will have a zipper allowance in the front okay so connecting my shoulder slope to the neckline and this is it then you can add your sewing allowance your half uh, half inch joining allowance to it okay so with this we are done cutting so i'll cut this out now then pin it by the side so that i can place it for the front to cut the front the front will have a um a zipper allowance in the front then after cutting the front i'm going to cut my lining too the same way the only difference with the lining now is that the only difference with the lining is that the lining is going to be shorter than the main fabric because i added extra two inches allowance for the main fabric so that i can do a turn up okay so let me cut, cut, cut. So guys, after cutting, this is what we have. Um, this is for the back. Um, let me turn my camera so that we can see the hem okay so this is the hem you can see it's in form of pencil okay so and this is our shape the shape we're trying to create out you can see it um not it's kind of straight around this side not too curvy then it blends back to the waist and blends down to the nail point okay it's like an extra bum bum <laughs> okay so this is it i just came out from the hip by three inches okay from the hip by three inches so let me transfer this pattern to the front for the front the only difference now is that the front will have a zipper allowance here okay so guys, I'm done. I'm transferring my front. This is the front. You can see it has an opening for a zip. Okay. And this is the back. And this is my, the front neckline. I thought this is going to be a V, V neckline. And this is the zipper side. Okay. So the front is going to have this beautiful zip. You can see it's a stone zip so um i she wants it very long so i'm trying to measure out um the length of where the zipper is going to stop and it's going to have a slit in front so i want the slit to start from this new point so i marked out the line out i wanted to start immediately in this new point so this is the line i've marked it out then for my zipper I'm trying to adjust it to for um, the sewing allowance up and I don't want it to reach the end here so I'm just trying to mark out where my zip is going to stay so all this place is going to be for the zip and this here I'm going to sew from here to here just sew it down okay the, this place will be open for the slits and this place will be open for the zip I hope we understand okay so um, I'll go right now to cut my lining 
remember i said the lining is going to be two inches shorter than the main fabric let me shift it a bit okay the lining is going to be two inches shorter than the main fabric because the fabric i want to do turn up and this dress i'm going to be sewing it um with inseam finishing so if you want to know how to sew inseam finishing i'm going to be explaining it in this video okay but i don't want the video to be extra too long okay so let me cut my lining now so guys this is our pattern or our cutouts so i'm about to sew it now each one with the lining okay i've gone ahead to cut a sleeve if you don't know how to cut a sleeve leave a comment in the comment section below so that i'll do a tutorial on sleeve okay so i've gone ahead to cut a sleeve and i've gone ahead to cut our pocket this pocket is just um a square you know a square all sides are equal so it's about 12 inches all sides and i went ahead to press the edges inside so that it will be easy to place i'll just pin it and sew it down so let's get started with the sewing so the first thing i'm going to do now is to please note that when you're doing inseam finishing anything you do on the line on the main fabric you do the same on the line separate separate you just sew them separately that's just the the basic thing there then later you just combine them together maybe at the hem or the neckline okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to sew this from here to here then open press my zipper allowance and fix my zip so i'll sew this now sew it on the lining to open press my zipper allowance and sew in my zip so let me do that now so guys after fixing my um zipper the next thing to do is to fix my pocket so i will measure from the shoulder remove your half inch sewing allowance from the shoulder and measure 21 inches or you can do 22 either 21 or 22 but i'll use 21 so i'll place my pocket the way i want it to be near my zipper okay i can do it half inches away from the zipper and i'll use pin to secure it down and top stitch it right round because i already pressed the inside with iron so i left half inches away from my zipper and then placed it on the 21 inches okay 21 inches so i'll go now to sew the sides the bottom and leave the upper part open then i'll sew the upper parts um i'll top stitch the upper parts mouth that it will not be coming out okay so let's do that now so guys i'm done fixing the pocket as you can see and i've pressed it so the next thing to do is to join the two sides place the um the back and the front together right side facing each other and sew with your remember we gave two inches sewing allowance so i'm going to sew with my two inches sewing allowance right round down okay so you do the same thing for your lining sew your the sides together the lining too okay this dress is very very simple you can finish this max one hour if i'm not teaching it you know you're not teaching it will slow you down so we'll do that for the main fabric and we'll do that for the lining then we'll come back to tell you what next to do so guys this is what we have after um sewing the sides okay so this is it this is the shape we have so the remaining thing now is for the sleeve the neckline and the hemline 
so the first thing to do after this is to sew the hemline okay so there is um something i usually do with the lining this lining i told us to sew it differently the 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 fab main fabric differently okay so any place that i'm going to join with the main fabric I will sew them exactly with the same sewing allowance I left. Like the armhole, you know, it's going. We are going to fix a sleeve there, so we are going to join it. You sew it with the same sewing allowance so that they will match up. Okay. Then the hem, you know, we are going to sew it round. Okay. So I'm. I still went ahead to sew it with the same two inches sewing allowance okay but every other part that is not going to join with the main fabric i sew it lesser like one inch so that it will be more free inside so that the lining will not be restricting the main fabric okay so right now you place um this should be done before the neckline so that you see a way to turn it outside okay right side facing right side so this is it keep it like this then the right side should face this right side okay then you pick them up pick them up and match them the side seam should meet you see that's why i said you should use the same sewing allowance the side seam should meet okay every other part should meet then you sew it right around with half inch sewing allowance then turn it inside out before you now finish the neckline the zipper allowance because if you sew the neckline first and even the shoulder this shoulder i just pin it down i didn't sew it if you sew it first there's no how you're going to turn this inside out okay i've experienced that before so that's what i'm telling us now so i will not make the same mistake okay so i'll go now to sew the hem part and i'll come back to show us and tell us what next to do so guys, I'm done joining the hem. This is it. Okay, this is my lining. This is my main fabric. So all you need to do now is to push this one inside. Then I'm going to sew my shoulder. The, the four shoulders, these two for the lining and the two for the main dress. After sewing my shoulder, I'm going to finish off my zipper allowance before my neckline my neckline will be the second to the last before my um fixing the sleeve okay the sleeve is the last thing to do because that's the place you turn everything out and you weave it or you use bias to conceal it anyone you want so guys i have to show us this before i continue the first thing i did was um to finish the zipper part so i don't know if we can see this because it's black i finished the zipper part first if you can see my shoulder now it's it's open i've not sewn any of them because i realized that if i join the shoulder first it will be hard to turn over so now that i've finished off the zipper part and the slits okay you can see how it is inside see see the inside Okay, see the turn up I told us about. Okay, you can see it. So after now that I'm done, I'll give it a good press. After pressing, then I'll come over. This is the last part that is remaining. This part. So I'll join my lining shoulder together and the main fabric shoulder together. Then for the neckline, I'll pass through my arm O. I'll pass through my arm hole to finish the neckline. Then I'll fix my sleeve and weave, uh, serge it. Okay, so let me come again. I'll go now to sew the lining shoulder. Okay, and I will sew my main fabric shoulder. This is the main fabric. This is the right side. So all you need to do is just to turn it this way. Okay, join the shoulders. Then later you now pass through your arm o to bring out the neckline and finish it then you turn everything out from the arm o fix your sleeve 
and weave or sedge okay i will see us on the mannequin to show us what we've made thank you guys so much for sticking with me till this very moment please if you have not subscribed please subscribe like this video share it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video so guys i wanted to show us what the back of the dress or the inside looks like so as you can see it has been neatly searched this is the only area that was searched others were turned in see the side same okay this is the zipper part and this is the slit and this is the hem okay you can see everywhere is neatly turned inside so this is what we mean by inseam finishing okay so i'll put the clothes on the mannequin now so guys this is what we have as you can see thank you guys so much for watching kindly share like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel bye